All right, guys, this is a quick video on uh, how I did uh, my uh, rib stitching. I'm building this Balsa USA um, PA-18 Super Piper Cub. And I think this came out really, really good. Um, this is uh, this is the, the first tack-down version I did of the whole wing. And um, I, I like it a lot. I'm going to show you how I did it, but I'm going to show you also the difference. Here's the other wing half. You know, I glued one side, and then I'll just throw this over, and I'll glue the other side down. i got to connect it as one piece. But look how it looks, the bottom side, without the rib stitching. Kind of plain Jane. Now, yeah, you don't need it, but, you know, I'm going through all this trouble of making this plain. I, I want it to look good. And I don't have the, the correct finishing tape, but this is basically what it's going to look like when the finishing tape goes over the, um, the, the, the simulated stitches. Uh, this is not the right length width. This is uh, fiberglass. I can't use this tape. But just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like, that looks sweet. It'll be all buttoned down nice. Um, i seen a, an article, and uh, i seen a video of a guy doing it. Uh, it worked out really well. I um, basically have this um, piece of uh, piece of wood. It's flat, and it's particle board, two feet long, three feet in length. Um, you don't need it this big. It's just that I just wanted to get it done in one whack, not make multiple sets. Um, I'm building two Piper Cubs at the same time. Um, I'm a scratch builder, so it was easy for me to copy the pieces and just pump out. Uh, two models. I'll end up selling the the other one. And um, but this is what you end up with. And I've never done this method before. I've done other ways to make it, but this worked out really nice. Um, pretty much, basically, um, I use this um, Reynolds wrap plastic coated freezer paper. I got it at Walmart. And um, I put down my self healing mat. I put down that um, plastic paper with the plastic side up. And uh, then put my uh, my fabric down. Um, obviously, a bunch of nails and you know the the strings back and forth. I glued it down with 50/50 um, wood glue and water, and completely dry. Let it completely dry overnight. Came back with uh, two more coats of um, three to one ratio: three parts glue, one part water, and uh, tacked down really well. So I'm just waiting for this to dry now. And I can cut it up and you know this is basically what you end up with and um, I cut out the size width that I needed for my ribs and then again I'll end up putting the tape over the over the stitching and I, I just I love it man it's just it's sweet it just gave so much character to the uh, the wing and I think you might agree too that looks so plain Jane you know so and I made it one piece so I could just you know basically Flip it over and, and and glue it down. I'm using the poly um, the poly fiber. I'm sure you, if you guys are into this stuff, you know that I'm talking about the uh, stitch system. Um, worked out really well. The smell is is uh, is not that bad opposed to dope. And um, I, uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. This is the um, the uncertified light version. Very very nice uh, to work with. Use the poly tack. And I got one coat of the poly brush, which I brushed on, and I'll spray two coats of uh, poly brush and then uh, two coats of poly spray, and then I put my color on. But um, okay, uh, I'll be making another video how it progresses. But this is the simulated wood stitching with uh, cotton thread. It uh, worked out really good. Let me show you the cotton thread. I think I'm pretty sure I got that too at Walmart. Um, you know, just basically, uh, you know, this is uh, the cotton twine, and it was it was a good size. It's not overly thick. It's definitely a good size for my uh, one third scale Piper Cub. Um, and if you wanted, if you're doing like a smaller project, I would use like dental floss um, type of string, dental unwax dental floss. That would be a good size. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy it, and uh, hope it helps somebody. And um, I'm loving it. It's working out good.